that on the film. Hmm? You're gonna leave me alone long enough so I can get this video done? I know you're like, what are you doing? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know that you can't really see these enclosures that are in front of me very well, um, but I'll move the camera down in a second, I guess, once we get through the intro. Um, so today, as you guys can see by the title, we are gonna be filming a enclosure swap for Ophelia. So I'm actually gonna be moving Ophelia into a new tank. I've wanted to do this for a really long time, but there's been two things really stopping me from doing this. Um, number one, I was really hoping that she would eat. I really was hoping to get her to eat for me for the first time before I moved her into a new enclosure. I guess I was kind of thinking like I did with lemon because lemon took forever to eat for the first time because Pac-Man frogs are notorious for going through an adjustment period and they'll refuse to eat for like three weeks, a month, maybe longer um, before they feel comfortable actually feeding and eating from tongs or whatever in their enclosure. So I was like, well, maybe tarantulas are kind of the same way. Maybe she's just trying to adjust. Maybe she'll eat for me, but she has still not eaten for me. And as alarming as that is, I'm kind of just accepting it now. Um, I have asked literally every tarantula owner that I personally know and YouTubers, etc., and no one can tell me why. She's kind of gone off food. They say Afana Palmas are kind of notorious for that. Maybe she's in like a super, super pre-molt that's lasting like almost a year. I really don't know kind of crazy but um she hasn't lost any weight she looks exactly the same as she did when i got her so i don't know and she's also really hydrated she absolutely loves her water dish which is actually dirty and needs to be cleaned out which is fine because i'm doing it today anyway i'm going to be moving it into the new enclosure um but since she isn't eating for me and i want to give her a deeper substrate i want to kind of just give her a bigger enclosure because even though this enclosure that she's currently in looks bigger you guys have seen it before it's actually taller, um, but she's terrestrial, so it's not actually bigger like lengthwise. It's a good size for her, don't get me wrong, but this one is actually a five gallon short, so it is better for her. It's actually gonna be longer. You can see it's quite a bit longer, if you can see here. So I think it'll be good for her, and I think she'll really enjoy it. And the second reason that I have put this video off, besides her not eating and me hoping she would eat, is I actually could not figure out how to get this enclosure open for the longest time. I could not figure out how to get the lid off of this. So it's got this like mesh top on here. And a lot of people were telling me that I should be worried about her getting her legs caught in the mesh, but this mesh is teeny, 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 tiny. Her legs are way bigger around than the mesh on the top of here. So I'm not worried about that at all. If you guys still have concerns about that, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. But these holes are super tiny. So I don't think that's gonna be an issue. And also she literally does not move at all ever hardly she'll maybe uh walk around a little bit once a week and she also does love her water bowl so she will go and sit in her water anytime i put new water in there multiple times a week she'll just go and lay in it she's really funny that way um but that's literally all she does so i'm not concerned about her getting a leg hung in this mesh it is so tiny i can probably barely get the pin a pin tip like in the holes super tiny so but yeah, um, I could not get this uh, lid open for the longest time. And finally, um, recently, I actually uh, texted a guy who works at my local red tile shop and I sent him pictures of this and he was so nice. He showed me how to get this open. So apparently this lid slides, but if you look at the frame, if you look at the frame on this enclosure, it literally looks like it's one solid piece. Like this does not come off. So. I was like, how on earth does this slide, right? And it turns out that it slides this way. The entire front frame comes off and it basically just kind of break away. It's break away from the corner, but whenever you close it, you literally cannot tell. Do you see that? It's crazy. So yeah, um, that was stressing me out and he was nice enough to show me that it's just like a really fancy lid tank. I don't know. And then of course it has a lid lock in there as well. I am gonna go wipe this out really good before we put her in there. And then I'm also gonna rinse out her bowl. So we'll do that in a second. I also have some Eco Earth here, which we are gonna put in her tank. Um, that's what we're gonna use for substrate. That's what I have in her other enclosure and it works really well. So, so yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this and get her water bowl out of there so I can go rinse it. And then also I'm gonna wipe out this enclosure before we get started. Obviously this tank is brand new. Um, I just literally opened it for the first time a couple weeks ago when I figured out how, but we do want to wipe it out anyway. I'm going to go take her water dish and rinse it out as well. 
and then I'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna sit Ophelia right here. You can see her in her enclosure just chilling on her leaf. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and wipe this out really good. I just have a wet paper towel and we're just gonna clean this out really well. So I've been seeing your guys' comments on my videos and on Instagram and stuff and I know you guys have been missing my videos. I haven't been uploading a crazy ton lately, um, mainly once every couple weeks just because there's been so much going on in the world and I've been really stressed out. And there's a lot of other stuff going on, especially last week. I planned on uploading a video last week, but so much stuff went on that I'm not ready to talk about. So, so I've kind of been just putting it off, uh, putting off filming because I've been so busy and stressed out. And maybe I'll tell you guys about that another time. But I am really excited to be filming for you guys today. I'm glad that I'm finally doing this. I wish that she would have eaten before I moved her, but I mean, what are you gonna do? You know, I can't wait forever. Um, and I want her to be able to enjoy her new tank. And I really, really love this tank. It's really nice, so I think she'll like it. This is by Sephora. Um, I actually got this tank, believe it or not, long before I ever had her. Um, I wanted a tarantula for a couple years before I ended up getting Ophelia and I saw this tank at a expo actually. I saw this tank at an expo and I absolutely loved it. I knew it would be perfect for a terrestrial tarantula which was the type of tarantula that I wanted for my first tarantula. I really wanted a terrestrial and this is a five gallon short so it is a really good size for an adult tarantula obviously depending on what type you have. So there's the front view. Um, this sticker is not coming off very easily, so I might have to use like some warm water or something to get that off later. All right, got my mister. I'm just gonna go on. I'm not gonna make all of the substrate moist, but I am gonna do her water bowl corner pretty moist. She's really gonna like this. higher in one end wherever her high is gonna be and then taper it off down kind of the way I do with my hermit crabs with their water bowl because she does get in her water bowl so much and she does really really kick around a lot of substrate so I kind of want to make it deeper for her to be able to like burrow in and stuff too because she wants to dig around she really doesn't literally doesn't dig doesn't do anything but I think it might be nice to give her a deep end so she can dig down a little bit. That might be kind of nice, huh? Okay. All right, I feel like that looks really good. What do you guys think? Looks pretty good. So she can have plenty of room to dig down here and then we'll do it shallower where her water bowl is gonna be. All right, All right Ophelia. We're not gonna move her quite yet. We'll do her last. New touch. go on and do her hide first. Okay. I'm gonna bury her hide really well. There we go. That'll be a nice little place for her to I don't know, go in. She doesn't really go in her hide much. She loves her leaf and her water bowl. Those are the two things that she kind of prefers, I guess you could say. We'll put her water bowl right here. See, I hate when substrate gets in. I don't know if she's gonna do that. And then we'll just, I'm gonna make this end really moist over here. Just this whole corner really, you know? Since she likes to knock water around anyway. This bottle is my plant mister, so it's literally just dechlorinated water. That's all that's in here. Um, this water is probably like five or six days old because I just use it to mist my plants and that's it. All right, she came off of her leaf, so we'll go on and just put her little leaves in here. We'll put them over to this side so she can climb on them and stuff. She loves them so much. 
And then we'll move her out. I'm not gonna hold her because I'm afraid to drop her and stuff. So we're gonna put her, just let her crawl into this little container. Um, I think this is from like one of my snails that I got or something. So we'll go on and put her in here. You gonna go in? No. So there she is. You can see her, she's kinda inside this cup, like what is going on? You can see her there. So we'll go on and put her in here. Hopefully you guys can see really good. Go on. It's okay. Good girl. All right, and that is it. She is in there. Now we can put the lid on and that will be it. She's so pretty. Can you guys see her really good? I hope she likes this new enclosure. I love it. I think it's great. I think it's an awesome enclosure. And we're just gonna slide the lid on. is the tarantula enclosure for Ophelia. Doesn't it look so good? I really love this a lot. I would definitely recommend these tanks. You guys can't really see me. If you have a terrestrial tarantula, um, I highly recommend these tanks. I think they're amazing. Obviously, if you have like a little bitty sling or something, don't because these little bitty holes are, you know, really, really small, but I'm sure some slings could get their legs through there really easily. She's really big. Um, I guess she's five years old now. She was four when I got her. It's been almost a year, so she's about five. So I don't think she's gonna have any issues with that at all. But um, you know, just be aware of your tarantula. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Ophelia. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am sorry the videos are kind of few and far in between, but like I said, I um, just had a lot going on. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys next time. Be kind, bye.